Welcome to another test video on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm filming this in a strange order. Don't worry, we're going to jump back in a moment. Um, but I was going to add this onto a mod video and it ended up becoming a bit of a video in its own right. This was answering some more questions that I started off answering in another video. Um, but it, because it takes 24 hours for the panels to get dirty, I had to wait for that amount of time to redo this video. So what I'm going to do now, at this point, I'm going to jump to the start of the video for all the explanation, and we'll run through. Hopefully this will answer some more of your solar panel questions from the Farm Production Pack DLC. If you haven't watched it, I suggest you go and watch it because it's a good video. Um, but if you did watch it, I did a testing video on the Farm Productions Pack answering some questions I had and some people that have me to ask about. One of them was about the extendable solar panels. And I was tipped the wind by Richard that the timing of them was in real time, not in game time. So for them getting dirty, if you speed up the time in game, they don't get dirty. It's in real time. So then I thought, well, the problem with that is, is that real time in game as in game hours you have played? So even if you speed up time, you've got to play for it. It was supposed to be, I think it said 24 hours it will take. Do I have to play the game for 24 hours before they will get dirty? Or is it actual real life time 24 hours? So we're back 24 hours later in the real world. Not game hours, not game time as in playing the game for 24 hours, but 24 hours in the real world. So I haven't been playing the game for 24 hours. I've come back in and my panels are dirty. And you can tell because I've put out some fresh clean ones just now. And this is what they look like when you start out. Now, part of my testing on that video was because these only seem to ever go onto one panel, not all of them, and they only seem to go along the first section of a panel, if I've got this all placed here and I put this on to now do its washing, will it register that it's washed all of them? That was the testing. That's all I wanted to do, but because it took 24 hours, I had to wait the requisite time before I could check it. So, let's put that on. And what I'm hoping is that will... I'm assuming all of a sudden it will go ping and they'll all be absolutely wonderful unless it's a gradual process but in the previous testing i found that even on multiple sets of these they have a boundary on this so you can't place or not a boundary on this a boundary on the panels so you can't place more than one robot on a, on a set of panels but if i put another set of panels further over or further out the way i can place another robot so this is the test so what i'm going to do now is leave this for a few minutes to run and like I said, this won't run the full length of the panels. It only runs normally the first, well, as far as I've found so far, one section. Allowing for the fact that if you place these like a fence, if I decided after the first section to change the direction, the robot is not going to be able to make lots of changes in direction and go up and down. So as far as I can tell, it's only going to do um, one panel. And again, this was part of the testing I was doing to see if that was indeed the case. So I'm going to leave this a few minutes, let it run, and we'll see whether the panels will gradually change colour or, or look clean or whether it will suddenly go ping and they've done and will it do all the sets of panels or just the set that it's running on so I'm going to leave that to chug away and we will see Right, so I'm going to say this now. I probably would have sped up time. It was a gradual process. It did run right to the very end of the panels, which is weird, because when I did my testing the other day, when I did the mod video, it didn't. It only did the first section of panels and then went back to the start. And when I came back along, it was just sat here. Um, so 
the game we did have a game up I'm wondering if it got fixed maybe that's what it wasn't working properly because as soon as it ran to the end and this panel as you can see is lovely crisp crisp and clean just like the brand new panels my other two sections here are filthy and it jumped from that one to this one and I'm assuming it's going to run along the full length of this one by the time it gets to the end this will be clean and it will jump onto the next one and away it will go again um, I will skip ahead now so I will see you well for you mere moments to see if it does now I suppose this is one of those things the testing could go on and on and on um, how far apart can you place these and it still jump from set to set could I just decide to do a set of panels that runs the full length of the map and will it run the full length of it to clean them I, I don't see why not this may end up being a video in its own right now um, because I might have to test that how far apart can I place a set of these and still clean them all I think what I'll do next time I'll do I'll do a shorter set and see how far apart but I will see you in a minute anyway just to see if it will jump to the front whether it will clean them all because this definitely did not work like this the other day we are almost done <laughs> we had a bit of a wobble I'm not going to lie when it jumped to the second one and it went part way along and it jumped back to this one again didn't even complete this one it then did another full run on this one jumped back did its full run on that one and now it's jumped to the front so what it should do and as you can see it's gradually getting cleaner on the front one um, once it gets to the end it will reset itself back to here this has ended up being this is a test of the solar panels because I've done some other testing too you'll be happy to know I don't need to worry about whether or not they're they're clean because you can run it through the cycle I just wanted to see if it would clean them and how it would clean them um, so I've done a little bit of other testing I'm going to show that in just a moment um, like I said once that runs to the end which it should carry on doing that will jump back to here and it'll reset itself bear with me just a moment so I set this set of panels up shorter runs but much greater distance between the panels when I set the robot off and I put the robot here next to the first panel, it started off on this rear panel. It did the rear panel, it jumped to the front panel, did that panel and then reset itself. So it wouldn't reach far enough to do those panels back. Um, I think that the gap's just too big. If you go too far apart, um, I would need to have another robot here to run and do that panel and then I assume it jumped to the front panel. Um, so you don't want to go too far apart with them. The next test I did, and I don't know if it's still running, I set this set of panels off just whoosh. And as you can see, it has carried on going. So as far as I can tell, you can just keep the set of panels going and it will run and run and run. Like I say, they're not dirty, but it will still run through the cycle. And this was just to see just how far will it run on a straight run. And it is going and going and going. These are questions I was asking. And I was curious to find out the answer. So we are. Which brought me on to the next one. And my final test on this. Hopefully once we check this. It will finish that panel. We can go back and check on the first set. And we'll be golden. And that was what happens if you've got a twist. A bend. A turn. In them. So. What I'll show you. If we go into build mode. And we go to our production. And we go to our generators. So we go along to our extendable panels. Which is there. So when I go to place these and then say let's just stop there and then do a turn if you go turn too far oh, that's weird because it came up there you go so collides with another item if you turn too far it doesn't like the turn I think going the other way did it go how far did it go that way there you go to there it doesn't like it, it says collides with another item so the turn's gone too far so you can get away with turns like that and maybe a little bit in like that to place them um, otherwise it, it doesn't particularly like it so my test on that was with a bend in it will it run the cycle and will it turn the corner allowing for the fact that it allowed me to place them like this the answer was no it didn't it ran this full set of panels which is a little bit longer than the ones I've got over there but obviously not as long as that crazy set there um, when it got to this bit here it ran along it got there and I thought you know what it's going to do it it's slightly overhung and then it reset itself back so wait one second though i reset the test and did it again and this is what happened the second time so 
So that's going to be the thing. If you're going to put these panels up, you're going to want them in straight rows. You're going to want the rows fairly close together, but you can make the rows as long as you like. If you've got an edge of a field, an edge of a map, or you know, if you want to like, like this on Western Worlds, I could run this set of panels right across the map. And as far as I can tell, because that robot is still going, um, it's going to run to the very end. Where have we got to? Please tell me it hasn't reset. Oh no, it was doing so well. It looks like it's reset. I thought that would just... Where were we up to? It was up to about here somewhere. It looks like it has reset. How strange. I mean, we went a long old way, to be fair. I mean, look at the length of this. It has reset. Maybe there is a limit. Yeah, it's gone back to the start again. Hmm. Maybe there is a limit. I mean, it went a fair old way. Okay. Right, let's reset that. We'll go back to our first set, and they should be done. Well, that's interesting. It finished the front set and it's jumped right back to the rear set again and started again on there. They're all clean now. They were filthy when we started out, so I can reset them myself. Let's put it back. It's done. The panels are cleaned. It did what it was intended to do. Um, like I say, so a few more answers to a few more questions. Having set this up with wider spacings on the previous clip we just saw, I think the position of where the robot was was where the problem lies, laid. Um, it did the front panel, did the next panel, but then wouldn't go to the rear two panels. So I think it was where the robot was placed. So it's not necessarily the spacing of the panels. As you can see on this test, I've got the panels much further apart. And when I tested this earlier, it wouldn't do, it wouldn't work properly at all. It seems to be working better. So I'm going to let this run this time with the robot positioned, its, its initial start position further back and see if it will now go and do all of the panels. So like I say, and if, if you've watched this far through, I put those little bits that came up on the screen. The results, what I'm finding is changing over time, depending on which parameters I'm adjusting. And it's that point of testing. I'm learning how this is working in different circumstances. So let's see what happens with this.
I'm not sure where in the proceedings this clip is going to come. <laughs> this video is a hodgepodge, a higgledy-piggledy collection um, of thoughts. And I, I I was just saying to Miss Silly P that what started out as me just doing some testing, me just trying some things out, has developed, I think I might have already said this already, has developed into uh, potentially a video. And then the more testing I'm doing, the more the perception is changing in that what I initially thought was, I mean, I know it's not random, of course it's not. If you're on PC, I'm sure there's lots of PC computer whizzes out there that will go and check the XML codes on the various different parts on this, and it will tell you exactly how it, do, what it does, what it does, and why it does what it does. Obviously on console, I don't have that luxury. So it becomes kind of extrapolation built on experience, built on testing, built on trying different things out to see what happens. So my two trains of thought were, the solar panels are linked to the robot. When I first had the robot positioned here, it did this panel, then jumped to that panel, then wouldn't go further. So I thought, okay, it's got to be linked to the robot then. The robot must have a perimeter, a distance by, from which it will operate, which it might still have. And I don't know what that is and won't be able to work out what that is. So I thought, okay, it's the robot. If you place your solar panels within whatever the perimeter is around that robot, it will clean them all. Because when I moved the robot from here to here, it jumped to the front, it cleaned that one, that one, that one, that one. So my previous, again, that's, I'm not sure it depends where this comes in, in the video. My previous musings were, because prior testing showed me, that if you place the solar panels too far apart, it wouldn't clean them all. As you've just seen from the clip just now, it did. It, it went and did all four. No problem at all. So I thought, well, okay, it's got to be the position of this. It's got to be linked to that. So my thought process now was, if I try and place another robot, so if we go to our tools and on our robots, and what I found when I was doing some previous testing, on the, was it on the previous video or on this one, when I got to a certain distance away from this robot or one of the robots, it allowed me to place the next one. So I thought, okay, what I'll do, I'll find out where the perimeter is around this robot here. Where I find the perimeter, I will place a robot. So I can find the edges of where that is. But as you can see, it doesn't matter where I'm putting this, it's saying cannot be placed here. It's not letting me place another robot. A at all. Which, so, um, that's strange. Which leads me on to the next train of thought. It's not linked to the robot it's linked to the panels because I've got no other panels other than these ones close to this robot it won't let me place another robot however if I come all the way up here to this little panel here as soon as I get close to this panel it allows me to place a robot so it's actually linked to the panels not the robot I mean it could be a combination of both potentially there could well be a perimeter a perimeter around the robot which will allow my advice would be don't set your robot to the front set it midway halfway and then it should I say it should clean them all my previous extrapolation of don't have them too far apart other otherwise it won't clean them the first time i tried it it didn't work then i tried it again it did work so that thing of <laughs> these have a mind of their own these robots they, they do seem to be um so then I thought, okay, well, what I can do then is I can work out where the distance around the solar panel is. So if you just got one panel, if I come out to about there, it says cannot be placed here. So that robot is too far away from that panel to get it to, to wash it. If I come out sideways, it goes to about there. So the panels themselves will have a perimeter. And if you go too far outside that perimeter, if I place that robot, well, I say place, it won't let me place that robot. Um, so it has to be within that perimeter. If I place it there, it should still clean that, that solar panel. Um, but obviously the further back that goes, how far is too far? If I place the robot right at the front here, and I put a panel right at the back here, it's not going to reach it. So it's got to be a combination of both. Um, it's a curious one. <laughs> it really is. Um, there, there have to be definitives. There have to be black and white answers. And like I say, that would be XML files and going through coding and stuff because it, it has to. 
my advice as I've been giving it as I've been going along would be the things that I well say the things that I've said again there'll be parts of this video where I will either cut in or I will put a, a caption will come up and say this is not true or this is true or I found something different or a clip will cut in because things that I was finding to be true then transpired they weren't for example the oh, I think I've taken it away now but the solar panel that I had with the brake in it the first clip I did, it got to the brake, wouldn't go past the brake, and it came back and reset itself. So when I came back to try it again now, I thought, well, I'll film that this time, because I just talked about it, I'll film it. So I filmed it, it got to the brake, and what did it do? It jumped the brake and carried on, which it didn't do the first time. So I don't know. <laughs> My advice would be keep them straight. Keep them in a row, nice and straight. Don't put bends and curves and silliness in them, and you'll be absolutely fine. Um, try to keep them close together if you can and try and put your robot so what I might do now actually will this be the final test I don't know um, I'm going to put a set of panels let's go back to here this, this is an ongoing this is what I said about mods and certain mods that come out which will lend themselves to further testing because you're, you're not you know you can say you know not that way let's go that way you can take it that it's a certain thing and it transpires it's actually not let's go there no over there collides with b that's why let's go come a bit closer in that one there and so with another set put in i know they're not straight i know they're a bit all over the shop what I'm going to do this time then is set the robot off and see, so again, another test, let's see. Having that more central, I mean, just north of central, when I set this off now, which panel will it go to? Previously, it went to the front and worked its way up. Will it go to the front and work its way up, then go to the front and work its way up? Will it go to this front, work its way across? Will it do these panels and not these panels? Your guess is as good as mine, and I'm pretty sure at this point there's some random bit of code in here, which means the robot can just decide what it wants to do when it wants to do it. So I'm going to set this off and run in. Let's see what happens. I'll probably jump to the aerial view like that, um, and then let it run for a little bit, and we'll we'll see. I might speed up time, and let's just see what happens with these panels, shall we? Right, where has that gone to to start off? Right, gone front right again. So potentially it will go up will it then jump across and then go up or will it just do those not those i, I really don't know ah oh, but in build mode you can't see it that's interesting so that's not going to work potentially i can just get up on there okay well we can see all the panels we can see whether it will go back whether it will jump so I'm going to set this off and run in. Let's see what it ends up doing. And there we have it. I think we can all understand and know why it didn't do this one. Because I was stood there when I placed them, and when I tried to bring it along to here, it wouldn't allow me to place it because I was stood in the way. And you can see where they're, they're kind of lined up. This one's too far over. So it did come to the front, it did go all the way to the back, it then jumped to the front here and went all the way to the back. So it did all of them, didn't do that one. It was too far over, too far out of the way. 
Um, I would also, again, it is an extrapolation, but I would say, judging by the location of these, yeah, that one's just a, probably a little bit too far out. If it had been over here, it probably would have done it. Judging by where that is located, I could probably stick another row on the back here and it would still work. But there will be a limit. There will be a limit to how far out you'll go. As you can see, that one, it didn't quite reach. So, I mean, potentially we're at, at that limit. And I said, these, these are just, you know, guidelines, advice, you know, like I said, it still seems to be in places. It just sort of does what it wants. Um, and as I said earlier in this this clip, this video, um, I'm not sure where in the video this will appear. And it may jump about a little bit. And there may be little bits that pop up saying this is wrong. All I would urge you is don't comment until you get to the end. Because <laughs> I'm sure people will. Um, but yeah, because it, it, there are different findings. Let's just say that. I hope this was useful in some way, shape or form. If it was, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.